Good morning and welcome to a very sporadic spring cleaning vlog. Fun fact about me is that I've never been relaxed ever. Every single card that anyone has ever given to me in my entire life. Every single one. Every calendar that I've ever had anything. I keep every calendar, every schedule, every planner. My sister painted this for me a long, long time ago. My favorite album from Fall Out Boy from Under the Cork Tree. How cool. Some of you might know, some of you may not know, but I went to school for fashion design in high school. So instead of like going to like a regular degular high school, I went to a specialized high school. Because when you're from New York City, you could kind of like apply to different high schools. Like if you're a good actress or if you want to be a singer, you could go to LaGuardia or PPAS or like a bunch of other things, Talents Unlimited. But I went to fashion industries. So when I was a senior in high school, there was a Kleinfeld competition. So you know, say yes to the dress. That's Kleinfeld, like the huge wedding dress place in New York City. I designed a wedding dress for Kleinfeld. I was in this competition and I made it to like the second round, the third round or whatever the case it was. But like I was in like let's top 10, top 12 or something. And here was my dress. Well, this was like my draft. It was a wedding dress, but it was supposed to be like your dream wedding dress. And I never had a dream wedding dress because I never really pictured myself getting married, like child of divorce, very cynical, very realistic, don't want to be tied down. So I made the theme caged. I felt like marriage was a trap. <laughs> we had this giant cage that I was going to make out of like gold wiring. I didn't get to make it because Kleinfeld was going to give you a grant to make the dress, but I didn't win, so I didn't. Basically, just my design was a concept. We had this little caged top with this was all going to be like this gold mesh sparkly big necklace. Um, it was like a bodysuit. I was very inspired by Rihanna at the time. She was like my everything. I have the veil was going to be like this gold headpiece and the veil was going to be like this long little... It's just gonna be like the sheer magicness. This is fun, but this is exhilarating because like when you clean and when you deep clean, it's like you just end up in a shit show. Like all of the boxes that like I literally don't need, like why am I storing them? Calm down, dramatic. So this is my 2015 calendar. Let's see what I was doing. The first page I opened to, June 2015, London. I was in London for the entire month of June in 2015 because I interned there. Oh my God. We're learning about me in this clean with me video. I have my triangle, but I don't have my dinghy. My flashlight. <laughs> Cute. So I found other paintings, brand new, Deja. And then last but not least, we have the upsides. <laughs> So cute. Wow, back in the day, she should have sold these. She would have made so much money on Tumblr. And then I can make room in this for all of my skincare. I've been getting so many like PR skincare and makeup. You obviously can't use so much makeup like all the time. Like you don't run through it so fast. So I need somewhere to store it. These, I have all of this stuff just sitting out. So I have a lot of books down here that usually are up here, but I just, I just pulled the thing out. So. You can't really see it. Oh, my 2017 calendar. Oh God, why is that stuck back there? I have to get this out and put it with the other ones. First, before anything, let's put all the skincare and extra things in here. Okay. <laughs> I have a pharmacy of Hero Cosmetics. Oh my God. This could go away. I don't use it every day. And then I just got all of this stuff from Green Goo. I have to film with it. Like so many things that I have to kind of just put away. This is like such a decluttering. It's like you can never clean before you declutter. So I got a bug spray from them, like a natural bug spray. So that's really fun. Oh, this is a four pack of like all of their faves. And it's like a travel kit. My nose right now, actually I changed my nose rings and 
they're like kind of fucked up it feels like i just got my nose re-pierced because i haven't changed my nose rings in honestly probably six or seven years which is crazy but i wanted my gold ones again because the other ones faded back into silver it's like disgusting it's getting like really gross and like crusty Ooh, i don't want to throw up i haven't had to deal with this since i'm like 14 years old so i'm just like non-stop cleaning it and stuff but i have a first aid now so i probably will be able to use this um there's yarrow flowers in here which is so cool and then i got two toothpastes from green goo one is a peppermint oil one and one's a chlorophyll one and all their products are natural so this is really fun so i'm gonna put these also in there and then when I have to film with them, I will do so. And then I also have more dossier scents, which is like amazing. I just, I'm one girl. I can't, I need to like... One for you, one for you. Well, actually, I did a giveaway with them, but you guys, it's closed now. So I did it quite some time ago. I, of course, subscribe down below if you want to enter any of the upcoming giveaways. Or I have so many codes and things that I try to always incorporate in my videos because if I like something, I feel like maybe you guys will like it too. We're switching all the hats and accessories into this one because this is like the oddball color i have two black ones that match so i want like skincare and makeup in both of those so i just swap them and now hats and miscellaneous random things are gonna go in here i don't want it this was a green one the sun i really don't like this one either i went through a phase where i only wore caps backwards um probably my freshman year of college because i was a bad bitch mm -mm -mm. My 4th of July bandana that I refuse to get rid of because I feel like I wear it every 4th of July. This could actually go with the skincare because it's a hair pullbacky thingy. These are my extensions. Ew. When I had jet black hair. I've had, I had jet black hair for majority of my adult life. Oh my god. Could you imagine now with jet black hair? Ew, they, they still smell like... They smell like high school me. I have to keep them. I can't throw them away. They're like $120. And I keep them in a Ziploc bag and I don't brush them. Okay. All right, I need to get it together.
now that I'm pretty much spent from cleaning, I have a bunch of Polaroids to put away from my recent trip to Philly. And I'm so excited. I always try to take Polaroids kind of everywhere I go. I used to bring my Polaroid everywhere. I would actually like carry it in my pocketbook a moment in time. It's just, it does such, such more wonder than I think regular photos. So in here, this giant book is like all of my Polaroids and I always try to write like little stories or just like little small like details to go with them so I look so I look like I just cleaned for five hours <laughs> the last time I posted in here was when we went to Lancaster if you guys missed that video I'll link it up here somewhere in the cards too. enjoyed cleaning with me although it might not be very calming and aesthetic as I maybe tried to make it be. Deep cleaning and going through a bunch of your old shit is never really <laughs> perfect. It never ends up being perfect but I'm really glad and I feel very relieved to have cleaned my room. I've been needing to do it for quite some time. I'm very organized in nature but sometimes you just have to like unravel the shit that you literally brush under the rug. So I just hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe down below. Follow me over on Instagram. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!